what's up dolls welcome back to the channel so i finally have a video for you guys i am so sorry i haven't posted more this week but to be honest i haven't been feeling too hot so i've kind of spent most of my days in bed this week and i'm still not like feeling 100 percent i'm sorry if you can tell by my voice but guys i'm also going freaking insane <laughs> from not doing anything so i thought i would pop on here with at least a small build for you guys I kind of felt like I could handle that, <laughs> at least a small build, so that is what I'm doing today. I'm building a small, modern, I would say this is modern, <laughs> or renovated maybe, uh, A-frame cabin kind of build, because I did promise you guys a few weeks ago that I would build a cabin, and I felt like today was the perfect <laughs> opportunity to do so. A small cabin, cab, cab, cabin, <laughs> I can't talk, I'm sorry guys. Um. But yeah, it is a two-story, one-bedroom, one-bathroom house, and I'm building it in Winnenberg on a 20 by 20. And I think this is actually the first time ever that I build on a 20 by 20. Like, I could be wrong, but to be honest, guys, I, I didn't even know we had 20 by 20s. Like, I, I knew we had 20 by 15s, but not 20 by 20s. But apparently, we do. And I wish, though, that it had been a 30 by 20 like I wish this specific lot had been a 30 by 20 because don't get me wrong it's great that we have 20 by 20s but this lot kind of felt a little bit on the small side for a build like this and I really 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 wanted to build here because of the surroundings like it's so beautiful here with the lake surrounding the entire thing and like the mountains in the background it's just such a stunning place like this lot is so freaking stunning and it's so perfect for a cabin build so I really wanted to build here <laughs> and so yeah I decided to make it work but I think you can tell that I did struggle a little bit to fit the train uh, because like hills and mountains they do take up quite a bit of space so yeah it was a little bit of a struggle but I made it work and I'm happy I did and I really want to build more on this lot because as I said like it's so freaking beautiful here so I might build something else here as well but yeah this is especially beautiful in winter like guys I will include some screenshots at the end of the video of this cabin in winter or this lot in winter so freaking beautiful and i don't know if that's something you guys want me to do for all my builds to include like screenshots in summer and in winter or maybe even in all seasons i don't know let me know in the comments if that's something you guys want me to do anyway um i did decide to go slightly ham with the windows i know guys i am aware where there is walls there is windows but like i don't know i kind of just felt like if you live in a place like this you would want to see nature like there's enough privacy here as is like you have no neighbors out here so privacy is not really gonna be an issue and i don't know you would just feel like with this many windows and windows this this size like you would just feel like you're out in nature but you're actually inside and that's kind of like a cool concept to me and i think a lot of people would appreciate that to feel closer to nature like in real life of course your sim's not gonna care but like, that's the reason I put this many windows down, because, like, the concept of it is pretty cool. I know some people will think I went crazy with the windows, but I personally really like the idea behind it. So, yeah, that is the reason for all of the windows, and I'm pretty much done with the exterior now, and we're getting into the landscaping. And I didn't actually do anything special for the landscaping. I kept it pretty minimal, because the surrounding, it's quite bare as well, so... Nothing too crazy because it would look out of place and I did actually remove some plants later on off camera because it felt a bit too much so keep that in mind I did remove some plants off camera. Uh, by the way guys these logs I'm sure I'm gonna get questions about them they are actually benches and they are from the um, what's the pack called the outdoor retreat game pack so um, yeah, they're benches from the pack and if you place this house down without furniture like when you place houses you get the option to place without furniture or with furniture and if you place without furniture these benches are going to be removed so just keep that in mind you could just replace them yourself though if you really want to place this house down unfurnished but warning guys it was not gonna lie it was kind of tedious placing these logs or these benches but it looks really nice though and i hope we get some kind of log 
in the future that are supposed to be for the walls because that'd be amazing that's something i really want and hope that we get anyway guys oh, i'm sorry if you can hear my neighbors i think they're having a party or something so excuse them but you know it wouldn't be a cyber doll video without my neighbors <laughs> being noisy so i'm sorry about that um so we have finally moved on to the interior we're done with the exterior and the landscaping so uh, I feel like you, you can tell it's kind of small in here like it's a cabin so it's supposed to be <laughs> small but I feel like the house looks bigger on the outside than it actually is but again it's a cabin and I really like it I think it's the perfect size for a cabin and I fit everything I wanted to fit in here sorry my neighbors are distracting me <laughs> anyway uh, this first floor it's kind of open plan but it's not really like you got that sunroom in the back behind the kitchen and you also got a bathroom <laughs> behind the stairs there. So it's sort of open plan-ish, but not really. And uh, so, yeah. And I decided to go for modern furniture because again, like with the windows, it, this cabin kind of feels renovated. Like it's been around for a while, but someone renovated it to make it look modern. And I wanted the same feel for the interior. Like it's supposed to look renovated. So it's all modern, but I also went with like wood swatches to make it feel cabiny. So modern cabin is the look I was going for. And I feel like like the wood swatches were perfect for that. <laughs> if that makes sense. Hope it does. And I really like the wood on wood. There's a lot of wood in this in this build. Like you got the wood walls, wooden walls, the wooden floor, wooden furniture. So there's a lot of wood textures in here and I really like it because it adds to that like cabin feel uh anyway so in here we got the kitchen and the dining room and then in the sunroom behind the kitchen is where i placed the dining table and of course we got a decent sized bathroom down here as well and i really love the layout of this cabin i don't know why it's it's not really special or anything but there's just something about it i just love the layout and then upstairs is where the bedroom is so I was kind of debating if to make this a loft, but I kind of wanted to utilize the entire upstairs, so I decided not to. So you got a pretty, pretty big room upstairs as well. And I only put one bed up there, uh, a double bed for a couple. But if you have a bigger Sim family, if you have, if your Sims have kids, you can definitely fit more beds up there for the kids, or you could even possibly fit a second bedroom up there if you wanted to. Or you could make this you can make it a loft so you got a lot of options there and um, I I'm kind of done with this room by the way this kitchen living room situation and I must say guys like I love how awkwardly <laughs> placed all these items are like in the living room the couch and the armchairs like it looks a little bit awkward but it kind of also gives it character in a way I don't know I just really love the living room part of it it looks it looks a little bit awkward but so it gives a character so yeah love the room and this is the sun room and i place a dining table in here like it's very <laughs> cramped but i also like this room like it'd be so nice to sit there and eat and just watch nature pretty cool um so yeah i went back in here and just placed some clutter down because i was feeling a little bit empty i wanted it to feel homey and to me like in the sims more clutter makes it feel more homey for some reason <laughs> i don't know makes it feel more lived in anyway so yeah that was the whole downstairs situation we just got the bathroom left and um, i'm pretty happy that i managed to fit this big ass bathtub in here because imagine just laying there taking a bubble bath and looking out that window i, I don't know i just love this build guys i love I love the concept of it. I'm not sure I would want to live in a cabin with panorama windows because I'd be scared. I'm scared of windows. Or not like windows per se, but like what's outside the windows at nighttime. <laughs> so maybe this is not like the house for me, but I like the concept of it. Um. Anyway, guys, we are pretty much done. I got the bedroom up here left and then we are done with this build. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave it a big, big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'd be so happy if you did. And if you want to download this, you can find it on the gallery under 
if you search for my username cyberdollyc or under the hashtags cyberdoll in cyberdollyc and have the move object objects cheat before placing this so that you make sure everything is like placed properly and all that kind of stuff and if you want to follow me on social media like twitter instagram you can find links in the description box down below and i do suggest you guys follow me on twitter because that's where i update you guys on what's going on um what i'm working on and all those kinds of things so go follow me on twitter and thank you guys so so very much for watching i really appreciate it and uh, i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video he got it out for me you know he's such a lion searching prey sweet talking dirty on the floor look like an honest copy paste Swarm around my head, look the way he goes Buzzing like he thinks that he's my hero Thinking of taking a break, shining it down to refresh Honey, it's all for the better, oh no Still spit it out to my face, it's okay Oh no, so speed it out.